I've put together um, plain flour, yep. uh, so cream flour and also wholemeal flour. This is like the really traditional, easy recipe for soda bread. So I've sieved in here, I'm also, I've also sieved in here some baking soda just for the rising right, agent. Right. I put in a pinch of salt and then I'm adding gorgeous fresh thyme, which oh, gives it a lovely. gorgeous, a lovely, nice herby flavor. Yeah, a sweet aroma. You know, you could put rosemary in here if you wanted to. You mix all this around. Okay, I'm really getting my hands in. I promise they're really clean. Okay, then you make... My mom always said your two most useful kitchen utensils are attached to your arms. Exactly. I agree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And she did a good job raising um, a daughter, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so here I've got the buttermilk. So this oh, is like this. Yum. And I know this is a bit messy, so do you mind if I get messy? Not at all. No. Okay, so this is a big tip that my grandmother gave me or my mother gave me. When you're making soda bread, you put your hand like a trough. Yep. Okay, so this is your two, just like your mom said, Just like right? you're out gardening. Exactly, right? and so you start pouring the buttermilk in into the center of the bowl, and then this is really messy, but anyway, it's fine. Um, you pour it together like this, and the what you want to make sure is you keep mixing and mixing and mixing until it's... Oh, it's Isn't a good, that cool? Is that a good job? That, <laughs> that was beautiful. That was like being in a musical. <laughs> You know, when I'm cooking at home, I get so used to people going, oh, at every clever thing I say. When, when I'm at home and John doesn't go, oh, that's oh, really. Good. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I know, right? It's fun. So um, basically, you want to mix it together until the dough is actually wet. You don't want any part of that dough dry. So I'll get a lot of people asking me, going, oh, I have little kind of white pieces in my soda bread. It's because you haven't mixed it properly. So everybody can make that, right? Absolutely. And then it comes out like a dough like this. Right. So this is raw. Beautiful. Okay. Put a little so flour underneath. Put right? a little flour underneath. I always kind of flour my hands a little bit too. Yep. Okay, and now this is really traditional Irish, okay? So you put it into a round like this. And then what you want to do is you want to just wash your knife with, with the flour. flour. Okay, and then you make a cross. So you're blessing your bread. So you're popping it right down like this and then you go back and forth to move it like that. To okay? open it up. To open it up and then you pop it around this the other side. This is so sides. different from what we sell in all of our grocery stores. It looks like a giant scone with currants and it's kind of sweet. Yeah. And it's weird, right? It's yeah. like a large biscuit. It's not traditional soda bread at all. No, it isn't. It's yeah. quite different. Yeah. Like this is like just the real pure bread and everybody right. can make it. That's the great thing about it. And then we do this. We do a good little pinch. Give it some dimples and that's pinching out the fairies. Pinching and little... out the fairies. <laughs> I know and I can't. It's so cute. I know and this is so ridiculous that I can't actually make soda bread at home without doing it because I think something will happen to me. I know, I know. but I'm very superstitious too. I love <laughs> you? this. It's yeah. so adorable. But it's lovely keeping those traditions. And That's right. And on St. Patrick's Day. Like if you've got any... Yay! Yeah. Okay, and then, and here's just a nice tip as well. Just to give that lovely colour on the top of your soda bread. Brush it with more buttermilk, yeah, lots right? Lots of buttermilk. Loads of buttermilk. Okay, and it, get it right down on the inside as well. Just tons of it. Okay, it'll keep it moist. Um, but it'll and also give it a nice gorgeous golden colour. Golden gorgeous color. golden colour. That goes in for 25 minutes and then you turn it over again on the other side. Yeah. And then when you if you tap it, if it has a hollow sound in it, that means that it's done. So I we've love got this. Baked it's here. so this but this it's such a fun way to cook. Isn't it? Yeah. It's such a fun way to cook. Yummy. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? It is gorgeous. So here's the Look blessed at bread. <laughs> oh, it's still warm. The blessed bread is still yeah. warm. Oh, gosh. And there's nothing like walking into somebody's home oh. and actually having the bread there. You know, in the smell of the bread in the house. The that's, house smells so great. Yeah, that's an Irish welcome. <laughs>